Hi, this is Peter Jenkins. In this short video, we're going to look at how I create mosaics. There are other ways of doing it, but uh, these are the couple of methods that I actually use. I'm going to show uh, how I created three different images. Um, this is the Veil Nebula Complex, and this was created. This is a nine panel mosaic. The Soul Nebula, which is a two panel mosaic. And the North American Nebula and Pelican Nebula, which is a four panel mosaic. Um, all my mosaics are, are created in the same way or pretty much the same way. Um, I'm just show you how I set up to take the images. In this instance, I think I've used Stellarium uh, to find a star in the middle of the veil complex and it's turned out to be HIP 102863 and put that into the creation of a sequence uh, dragged a square big enough to cover the whole of the veil and it has shown me nine panels that it's going to take there's an overlap of 20 percent in that so that the, when they when you come to stitch them together they should match up okay so i just create a sequence from that and you'll see here that I've got um, 180 second hydrogen alpha and 180 second oxygen, uh, 16 of each. And I've just copied those all the way through all of these parts of the mosaic. So there's nine parts listed. And then I click run sequence. And um, it helps if I've got a rotator now, so it helps a little bit that uh, you make sure that the rotation is correct with each frame. Uh, when I actually did this mosaic, which was a couple of years ago, uh, I didn't have such a luxury. And so the frames didn't match terribly well, but they were enough with the 25% overlap. This was a single image. This is part of the part of the Veil Nebula, but this is part of the Witch's Broom. And I, there's two frames stitched together. In fact, these are all of the frames that were taken and when they were stitched together this is the result so we're going to have a look at how I stitch those together and um, so I'm going to open Photoshop and we'll just pause this for a moment okay I've got a Photoshop open and I'm going to open those nine parts of the Veil Nebula. So that's this these these nine images here. I've just exported them as TIFFs directly from PixInsight. And we're not going into the PixInsight process at this stage. Needless to say they're all processed to be fairly similar to one another. We'll just open them all. And you'll see this is part that's part one or no that's part nine that's shown as part one two, three, four, and so on. So all I'm going to do is File, Automate, Photo Merge. I'm going to add all the open files and go OK. I'm going to let Photoshop do its thing. These are, well, they're all taken with a 16 megapixel camera, so the, the TIFFs were actually fairly big file sizes, so it does take Photoshop a few minutes, especially since there are nine panels to do here. So just bear with it. Generating an output. So there we've got a stitched together image. You'll see that the frames don't match perfectly, but um, so we now need to, to crop this image. Gotta crop it. You can actually see the lines that it's using for the stitch at this stage. Just use the crop tool to crop off the edges and click tick. 
again it's a fairly large image now uh, with nine panels so it just takes a moment okay uh, the, these were all processed to the same stage they weren't uh, they weren't finished as such and it was a couple of years ago so I'm going to close all these TIFF files all these initial panels and we'll just leave the untitled panorama it gives a name you can save it as obviously I'm going to open the one that I actually went ahead and processed if I can find it there it is so this was my final stitch and the, the detail is quite astounding actually because it's um, such a large file okay so that's how I stitched together the the veil, the veil complex I'm going to close this I'm going to close this one and not save it and then we'll have a look at the soul nebula which is a more recent one there are two parts to this this is the the lower portion and the upper portion so the process sim similarly in uh, Pix Insight and we're going to stitch them together in the same way so I'll automate photo merge just accept the defaults but add the open files and go OK and it, it should be a little bit quicker this time because there are only two panels Okay, so let's stitch that together and we need to crop it obviously in this case I think it's got slightly off in angle so I'm going to turn it slightly and bring the edges in that'll do for the demonstration purposes and then we can continue with processing and um, in this case that image image rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise and I'll open the image as it was when I finished it I'll open so that you can see a comparison and this was the final image what I'm going to do now I'm going to look at how, how to do both of those in the um, Microsoft's own image compass editor This is a free piece of software, so if you don't have Photoshop, this is another way of doing it. So we set a new panorama from images, and we need to go back to the the files that we had a moment ago. So bear with me till I find them again. Okay, let's let's do the Veil Nebula again. The one through nine parts. And this will take a moment or two as well. And then we tell it to stitch them. So it aligns the images firstly. And if it succeeds in doing that, a tick appears. This is where you can go and have a cup of coffee while we're waiting for this to process. Composite in the images. Or compositing the images. Here we go. And we can crop it. And it's done not a bad job, but we, we can get rid of the black edges. And we can export this and save it as a TIFF file for further processing. Okay, so crop, and then we can go export. And we can export this as a JPEG or as a TIFF image.
Okay, so um, let's go back. We'll go import. I think we can clear images. New panorama for images. We'll do the um, the soul nebula. Should be a little bit quicker. Stitch that one. Okay, we'll go crop. And it's done a reasonable job again of the crop. So again, we just crop the image so that none of the edges show. And then export. And for further processing. Okay, now I'm going to look at a peculiar case. Or well, it's not all that peculiar actually. I'm just going to discard this. In Photoshop, let's close the Dissol Nebula that we had open. And let's open the um, North America Nebula, which was a, a, another one that I did recently. So just bear with me. Oh, I called it Pelican. That's why Pelican. That was a four-part mosaic. And the crop tool is still selected. So this is part one, two, three, and four. I quite often find that Photoshop is not up to the task, and this will just let you see what happens when it isn't. So this is automate photo merge, add the open files, and go OK. I ran this through Photoshop when I did it, because uh, I use it, f I try it first, and if it doesn't do the job properly, I'll show you um, how I then put this one together. There. Uh, it didn't do a good job at all of that one. It just couldn't find a match. So let's go to Image Composite Editor again. The Microsoft one. The free one. New panorama from images. And add the Pelicans 1 to 4. Open and tell it to stitch them, which Photoshop just failed to do. It says they're aligned. There we go. Crop. So this one, this program, uh, Image Composite Editor, has managed to stitch them together properly. I don't know why Photoshop in this instance and occasionally just completely fails. So we crop that and export it. Okay, I'm going to go back in Photoshop. I'm going to close that. I'll close the parts as well. And we'll open the stitch together properly. So this is the one that was exported from Image Composite Editor. And you can see that that one's okay. Um, I just made a bit of further processing to it. Uh, it's done a bit of sharpening and so on. But that's how it does it. Two options that I have. I always try Photoshop first. If that doesn't work, I go for Image Composite Editor, which seems to work in most of the cases that Photoshop fails with. Okay, I hope that was interesting. Um, thanks for listening.